What's good YouTube and welcome to the house. I'd already be at the WCQ right now except I got a load of towels going in the dryer because I'm not going to be that guy that shows up to an event without a shower. I hope you thank me. But seriously, thank you guys for the Friday night live stream. It was one of the most insane ever. You guys might have tried to kill me. It, it didn't work but that was my second hangover of my life just so you guys know it was insane i'm losing my voice a little so we're gonna try to get through this market watch which you guys are here for enough thinking all you guys who've said hi the venom made me feel like a special gal neospatian aqua dolphin ultimate rare is hovering a hundred dollars ain't that weird and it is over here there's actually a psa 10 around that price for a ten dollar upgrade if you're actually going in there you go there you go but why is this card going insane oh that neo spatian sports coming? nah nah so with gokies there's actually an extra link that pops out cards from the hand using gumblar and this is actually the safest start so if you start with something like junk forward summon aqua dolphin and use its effect you can rip out their hand trap as aqua dolphin reads once per turn by discarding a card from your hand you can look at your opponent's hand and select a monster card in it if there's a monster on your side of the field with attack greater than or equal to the attack of the selected monster destroy the selected monster card and inflict 500 damage to your opponent and then if you don't have a monster with greater attack you take the 500 droll and lock ash blossom all the goodies a lot of the duelists aren't playing ghost ogre this format to pop this and then oh oh you're you're a level three warrior you're not only searchable by rhoda you overlay into mx saber invoker and then you combo off into an extra link using gokies with topologic gumblar dragon thanks to us having link karibo so it's unlikely we'll see this level of tech used and abused as much in the europe wcq coming up because link karibo does seem to be a big part of it with octo stretch but we will see if it can impact that event how it will impact the event and uh Moving forward, we'll see how real it is. But even the commons, yeah, oh, John, the ultimate rare is ridiculous price. Of course, it just got bought out. Some of the commons got bought out. And I find this really weird because we have the Relentless Revenge ultra rare version with a lot of 10 cent copies. But you would have to find other ones from the seller. So let's see. Yeah, you can't even, but these are too cheap. They're all too cheap to actually get them. First person you could buy actually multiple from is at 32 cents over here at Top Card Shop. Ah, I see why. It's just like it's a new card and it's relatively going to get hyped i i could see this going to a dollar but the quantity is so great on market that it would take a real big push towards this and again for now it's only usa but they do get link rebo a good old week after their actual wcq over there a little bit late but better late than never i suppose europe it, it just really does feel different because of that but there you go that's why aqua dolphins going crazy now we have another card out of battles of legend going pretty crazy bamboozling gossip shadow has bam been bamboozling people all week and people have been buying this for five dollars on the floor and now it's gone up towards thirteen dollars pretty crazy stuff it's already back down towards ten dollars here on ebay and uh just to note it's actually sold out on Yu-Gi-Oh! singles from their pre-sales at 270 Now, why are people going crazy for this card? I don't know if it's that they just started to realize, well, Burning Abyss hype, it stops the hand traps. But yeah, it stops hand traps. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster activates this effect, a quick effect, or activates its effect, opponent's monster activates this effect quick effect you can detach two materials from this card the activated be effect becomes each player draws a card you can target one other number xc's monster you control attach this card as a material hmm that's it's pretty good overall but again it's mostly for things that can rank three overall it's a wind spellcaster great typing 2600 booty great defense it was a good card when we were talking about it in Therio, but where will it pop up? It can be an extra. Like, you remember how people played Totem Bird and things that could rank three? It's not the worst thing to set up. Having a negate is always good, but it's the effect becomes. So it's not like taking care of whatever monsters on board. It's only 
turning it away so they still keep their resource and actually gain a resource in the process for what they have lost if it is a hand trap if it is something like that that's been sent to the grave so again what's your guys's opinion on this it's a solid card i do think it was heavily underestimated but where will it land i think it could stabilize around five dollars you're seeing that 13 price tag right now but you're already seeing a ten dollar price tag over here on ebay and i think we'll see it go back down through the eights through the fives but again people are very excited for the burning abyss link monster and that makes sense speaking of link rebo by the way i heard people get we're getting this for ten dollars on the floor because of the structure deck the ultra will ha will resemble some value i assume even when we have a common yes it's a structure deck it will be super accessible people still love hollowing out their decks and an ultra rare jump card will probably retain just a little bit of value for link Krebo past ten dollars but do you guys think it'll fall that hard because it is we've seen cards over time lose their value like that but a card as played as link Krebo, i want to know your thoughts do you think it'll be a ten dollar card do you really think the show's over that much for this card as we head towards that? Because it was going down towards 18 on its announcement, which is where I thought it would settle. But do you guys think it'll go even further and beyond down in the price trends? I, I do want to hear. And, and a final note also with Yu-Gi-Oh! singles here. I have this promo code down below. I could just shill it as much as possible to you guys. But I want you guys to remember and think with your own big brains. Like, look at this. Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge earlier they actually had complete sets down to 154 and those are gone because of the sold out quantities i think but whenever you're investing there's reasons to come over here if you're spending over 75 with your team for that free shipping yes you'll be charged about i think seven dollars on singles if if you don't hit over that 75 dollar us point so i do stress every time only go in if the prices are cheaper with that 5% off, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But if that 5% works for you, and then you also have like five to seven days to get it in, and you're ordering with a team, those are the only ways and requirements I would order. And obviously there's deals to be had. There's huge quantities to be had. And uh, it's it's really good for investing. Like the Aqua Dolphins, I think at 40 cents, which will help keep it down over time which is just awesome so like it's a huge resource for you guys but always shop as i say both well all three in this case tcg player ebay and this always price check yourself don't go blindly in but i do appreciate you guys who do use my promo code know that it does directly support me but i'm never gonna just say hey guys go here it's great for you nah shop around guys seriously shop around next up on the floor people were just asking me what do i trade for the mega tens are coming up what do i trade all my cards towards and my answers were flood although prices can still go down during the off season as we saw in years past is a great answer we also have uh the the little riskier d dark saviors because they're done selling it probably right so engages widow anchor be like there's cards that you can trade for i feel like beats inflated though it's almost a meme at this point i feel like you know engage in widow anchor could be dangerous this is likely to fall during the off season as a lot of competitive players unload theirs after the wcq it's hard to call what to really invest in but there is one and we have watched it one super safe set that actually got some hype this weekend with ancient gears this the the legendary dual sets are the sets that keep giving currently ancient gear fusion solid solid card crystal bond staying up at 20 even millennium eyes restrict actually dipped down over time but not much and tomb kingdom actually rising back as a, a rare not a common cocoon of evolution i think started at three dollars short print and went up rainbow bridge has fallen over time from seven but overall uh, where the prices are at now there won't be much movement and if you really want to trade for solid value your sales rates or trade rates will probably be pretty slow it might have been high this weekend for ancient gear fusions that were reasonably priced but i think your trade rate will be slow but your value will be rock solid rock solid flood your value might decrease during the off season but should rebound near the 200th 
for a lot of these cards. I don't think we'll see a reprint before then. I don't think a ban list will be affecting too many things unless they really just eat into the nightmares, which I think will eventually happen, but I don't think will happen right away like that. And uh, you got solid value in cards from Flood that could go back up, like the Alter Geist. I think Trisbania could go up over time like the other Topologic Bomber Dragon Secret Rare. You definitely have potential here as this set won't be reprinted likely until next Battles of Legends slash Mega 10 slash if we get a gold series ever again. So yeah, you got places to trade your Mega 10 cards for for solid value. If you're really trying to go in, get rid of those cards, turn it to cash at the event or something through the vendors and get new cards or, you know, vendors will often give you a better deal trading go for flood go for the the legendary duelist and really just think about collector's cards too of course if you're lucky enough thanks for watching what do you think of today's market watch do you think aqua dolphin solid it actually is in my opinion solid uh the commons being so much are ridiculous when battles of legend relentless revenge versions already out don't fall for weird bios just go ahead get yourself some ultras they're really cheap right now thanks for watching everybody